you have a private little chat. We were. Yeah, it's not private. You can listen to it now. It's like we're broadcasting to the world. You can just look at the stream and see. Hmm. Please. Okay. Fuck you. I'm gonna, cause I'm gonna be annoying. I'm gonna leave the chat and commentate this game, and then you can do oh, yeah, it later. Yeah. Okay. But then just I might them, stop halfway because I just get bored. Oh, well, so bye oh, for now. Good luck. Okay, bye bye. So I'm just deafening myself. Then. Okay. Hello, memers. Welcome. Welcome to. 2017, off to you, It's um, the professor himself back in the house. First things first, I'm a realist. Second, we got some Dota going on here. We got we got Radiant. I've got some people no one cares about. John, this I'm pretty sure that is a uh, thing to do with your knee joints. That like cripples you and makes you weak and disabled. So we have disabled person. R and R dude. That stands for rest and relaxation. So he's he's been smoking that 420. Over here we got Tom 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 Armageddon. Tom Armageddon. He's four years old. It's like Thomas the Tank Engine, but like oh I hate the world <laughs> emo sort of thing. That's pretty cool. Over here we got Piri, like the sauce, Piri Piri chicken sauce. Orpheus, um someone's misspelled the Matrix black guy. Here we got Zesman, Joe and Charlie wrecking the sauce man. Chicken going down the drain right here. Apparently not. Um he's not dead. Oh, okay, that was a kind of funny lance, very uh, camping Yemi Rune, aggressive jungling strategies. Charles still going for the uh, frost blast. That's kind of like a splitter, a bit weird. Zesman going for the um, Chinese lantern spirit lance thing, and Joe just the spirit swipes for us. Their teammates are Prince Prince Sverdi. So it's a bit like Verdi, the uh, opera composer. Prince Verdi, that's cool. Uh, so Italian, you know, 15th century, 16th century, um, kind of mean lord here. Green, rough, as in rough, I'm a dog. Rough! That's, uh, that's hilarious. It's funny because he's shaggy as well. Magnus with the fur. Um, don't kind you know. I, I support Peter. I want to be a vegan, but I, I um, you know, that's a problem. Um, I watched a show called, uh, uh, Khan, it was the Stein and thing on BBC. Very good. Very, uh, very persuasive. So, Charlie doing some harass here. Um, Okay, excellent denial from Nick. Charlie goes to hit Morpheus, but fails. Morpheus, Morpheus gets a couple of hits off. The the black man prevailing. Piri um, does something. Oh, wow, Morpheus can you oh, go back? Let's put the last system denied, because I, I don't know what's going on. Silencer, leading. Uh, please don't watch me in two minutes. Excellent. Okay, so at 3.07, let's write this down. 3.07, about to see Joe feed, probably in a catastrophic way. Um, excellent, excellent. Excellent. Okay, meanwhile, uh, the Opera Man is, is, is getting hit. Zesman, low on mana, doesn't have a, uh, a, a random, entirely random, who the fuck knows. Um, turn this sort of meme off. Um, ping ping pong. Meanwhile, bot lane, how's Mangs doing? Zero last hits, excellent. Meanwhile, Crystal Maiden is not jungling, she's just, uh, Pulling creeps away from Luna and pushing the lane. Excellent job. Um, our crippled friend here, five for four. We've got a lot of fucking denies. Five like Nick has seven denies and three last hits. That's kind of weird. There you see Nick um, tactical feed walking next to Charlie whilst he has the Thunderstrike on him, just so you can do a bit more damage to his ally um, as well. It's always nice to force your ally to support out the lane so you can get full XP and not have a, a Char not have Charlemagne. Mr. Charles for himself uh, and all that for you. He's very good support though, so in this case Nick is probably wrong to do that. But if it was a random pub, I would definitely um, encourage him to kill his allies. Here Nick is about to feed, I imagine. He does some sort of meme. He actually kills the black man, um, but chicken, chicken, the chicken connoisseur himself gets the kill. Uh, what the fuck is happening with Charlie? He's got a leap and arrow. I think it's kind of retarded. Um, Charlie taking a bit of damage here. Joe having to run away as well. Um, it's kind of beating. I imagine this is- Oh, what the fuck? Okay, so, excellent there. Perry gets a double kill. Could be a triple kill. No, it's not a triple Charlie drops a fucking wall. What the fuck? Um, and yes, excellent job from the Ursa there. Uh, 
Um, it was excellent. Okay, the bear respawns Fuzzy Wuzzy. He's got a headdress. He's got a quill blade. He's ready to go. If I were him, I'd probably get the um, the kind of talon thing, uh, the eagle claw. But that, that's that's not happening. Tom again, wrecking mid. Last hit. Um, Luna is favoured quite a bit. The guy is crippled, but he, he can still last hit. He's got some random shit in his base. Kind of a funky build. Hasn't been forced to use any regen yet at all. Which is embarrassing for Magnus. Magnus, of course, um, why the fuck is he thinking? Magnus, of course, um, has almost full mana. Uh, and he's got a retarded skill build. He will never need in power. He will not need in power. This is stupid. And Skewway is also a bit weird. Um, so, yeah, he's just wasting mana here. Just being terrible, generally. Uh, Charlie is doing some sort of mean thing. Courier is still here. I. I don't know. Where's he, where's he gold, Sean? Where's he fucking gold? Um, do you get gold for denying his lich? I have no fucking idea. No, you just get you just get mad. I don't know. Um, everyone's getting one. This is pretty, pretty crazy. Um, peak. Joe doing some damage to the mud golem. Um, he will die. Uh, that's the mud golem, not Joe. Although I wouldn't be. To be surprised if he beats neutrals as well. CM rotating back around. This is the last hit. Uh, CM still zero for zero. So one of the major reasons you pick crystal main is of course a jungling ability, and uh, that is completely going to waste here. In other words, rest and relaxation is just so high, blazing too much. He he can't. He doesn't even know what sort of game he's in. He doesn't know what's going on. There he goes, just fucking doing something onto Magnus. Magnus walking around and planting trees for no apparent reason. He does eventually tango it, of course. Will he use his shrine? Yes, he should use it earlier rather than later. Um, because, of course, it's on a cooldown and fucking, he'd want to fucking use shit and then come back, come back and cool down. Off cooldown. Meanwhile, Nick feeding. Yes, I caught the end of that, kind of. Uh, but he catches the structure before he dies, so perhaps worth it. Charlie, getting juked! Getting juked! Early ice armor, is that good? I don't know. Who the fuck knows? Um, Mirana, doing some, something going there. Um, he's not sacrificed a little bit. Is that to do with lane control? Is that to do with lane control or is that to do with laziness? We don't know. We will We will not know. Uh, Tom's tank engine going. He sees a DB rune. He will take it. He might get another rune in five seconds. But he's not going to bother checking because he's a mean. Indeed, he... he uh, the invis rune is bot anyway, so he gives it fuck. Thomas coming up through. He's very close to level 6. The style is not to wait until he has level 6. But just a gank anyway. Um, similarly, he walks in when Sigmar is on cooldown. Uh, horrific decision. He'll still kill Charlie. Uh, no, he won't. Oh, excellent Charleston. Oh, no, he's still dead. And Nick might be dead as well. But he will not get revenge for Marana because uh, she got memed. Nick killed the silencer after he gets to level 6. He uses his ultimate. Embarrassing for Radiant. Uh, but that's completely expected given how good Nick Turner slash Zesman 45 is at this game Dota 2. Could you deny some of these fucking creeps? Yes, he could. Excellent job, Nick, um, in feeding your enemy. But anyway, yeah, so Nick's pretty good. He's doing that minus. Shane, he's at about, um, I was going to say half, but that's obviously not true. Seven, half, seven last hits behind the Luna. It's almost two lanes, two sort of uh, waves of creeps. Luna here, she's got Aquila, she's got a TP, ready to help the team if need be. Um, she's got one level in Moonglaive, I don't really get that one, but um, I assume it, it's sort of like harassing or just sort of mean purposes. Mr. Last Hit there, kind of embarrassing John this. Um, I'm making the same face as in your name right now. So, you know, my eyebrows are side horizontal against the right hand, sorry, left hand looking away from my side of the eye and like moving up my face and my mouth is slightly displaced up and to the left. Um, and I look like I'm in ten south of pain, my eyes held open, similar to the Colin Orange style. Up top, Charlie, Orpheus, battling it out. Zedman, will he escape? Pops the one. The, uh, the ice meme doing wonders here. Tanks an arrow though, his illusions were not enough to distract from the chicken sauce man. Um, and Orpheus will walk away indeed. Good job uh, by the structure to use kinetic field and to distract Charlie um, from 
something from the from the Murano, I guess. Um, very important there. Uh, mind games, psychological advantage. This is interesting, actually. Um, psychological advantage. We talked a lot about in uh, Formula One. Um, Lewis Hamilton, Nico Rosberg last season had a difficult time, um, and eventually Nico Rosberg took the title. Hey, he retired. And many things because of the psychological stress that Lewis Hamilton inflicted upon him. That's something you can use in Dota as well. And inflicting any sort of damage, have you got muted here? Inflicting any sort of damage, be it in chat or in like gameplay, to try and distract people from the from winning and from doing their best to win is always effective in Dota. And probably the psychological side is more important than the actual play side because you can feed endlessly. But if you cycle, knife laugh, you fucking mean. Anyway, if you feed endlessly, but then control the psychological shit, then your enemy will most likely DC and feed careers to you, uh, which um, makes up any fucking missed last hits. Nice deny there from Nick Turner. There's a PMS and a Chronobo, so that's pretty, pretty funny. Chicken Man, size to arrow, quite bold, runs away. He's only leaps, so um, all this is about to get fucking wrecked. Oh, that's a nice meme. Um, Zezwin, will he get a kill? Yes. Uh, yes. They're all dead, I believe. Excellent there. Um, great sort of jump thing to avoid the tower. A spirit lance to, to do something else. He has a wand. He's not going to survive. He does pop the wand though. Oh my goodness. Um, Tom again, having just enough mana to finish it off. Tom again, sitting at four stolen intelligence last hits. Um, Thomas the tank engine was not black as far as I'm concerned. As far as I'm aware, on me. Um, and yet, Silencer is stealing from the enemy here. Magnus on bot lane. Farming up, has no items. He's got a belt of giant strength. Can only can only imagine he's gonna build a necro book because treads are shit. Oh no, what the fuck? Oh sorry, he's getting treads and he's maxing power. So he plans to walk up to people, RP, use empower himself, and die, um, wishing that he had the attack speed to kill someone. He's gonna have 25 attack speed at level 10, and he's gonna be useless the entire game, uh, especially if he refuses to put empower onto the Ursa. Of Joe, uh, which will be an issue. Joe, level 6, um, not as high a level as maybe he should be. Good, nice job dying to Murano early game. He'll have lads soon, I guess. A couple of hundred gold for the Sage's Mask. And then he'll be right on track. He'll go be, he'll do some rush, he'll get some power. Interesting, they're going for the, to the 4 carry strat plus Charlie. This works quite well in our, our games, but um, I'm not sure about this. Bot lane, meanwhile, Magnus did something, and he's going to die. Oh, Crystal Main doing a lot of damage um, to the... I don't even know what happened there. Ugh, fuck me. Someone died. Um, uh, yeah. Top lane, Nick has the minus. He's going for the treads. Pretty okay. Could have... Oh, uh, yeah. He's going to buy the, the other thing from the side shop. Charlie, he's got some Tranquil Boots. He's got some Dread Awards. Is he going to drop Tranquil Boots to harass? Probably not, because that's something I do and I get stunned and die and lose the Tranquil Boots as well. Um, Magnus TPing bot RP on cooldown. He's got his int treads going. Those are, these are the treads you want. Intelligence. Um, and he denies the tower. Nicely done. Nicely mean. Birdie. Uh, doing something mid. Nick TPs mid. Takes a huge amount of damage. And then walks backwards. Um, meanwhile, Sniper runs towards Sciencer, and uh, Sciencer uses ultimates only to feed. Crystal Main feeding as well. Um, this is absolutely characteristic of a 2k average game, which is what we're doing here, I imagine. Um, it's really quite uh, astounding how, um, you know, similar to the textbook definition of 2k average this game is uh, in terms of prowess and ability. Running towards the shrine, I can imagine Sniper will use it too early. No, he didn't. Very nice of him to wait for his teammates there. I would have used it too early and just typed something and kind of left. A lull in the conversation as I shut up for a second. Joe has the Vlad's, does not have face boots yet, but is aiming for it. Shadows have taken them. Uh, Radiant and moving around. Not really doing anything. They see Nick and don't do anything about it. Is Science going to pop his double damage and shoot an arrow? No, nope, he's not Marana. Um, that's a simple answer to that. Magnus still on his intros. Meanwhile, top lane, Joe runs into the crystal lane. She uses her ultimate. 
Um, Morpheus, not strong enough there with the Sack Storm to kill anyone. Um, he sort of pauses and does nothing. Meanwhile, Joe hits some creeps, um, and both sides are left with unaffected. Look at the last hit. Joe, very close to this, uh, this crippled Tyson, the old jaundice meme here. Um, and in fact, Dyer is 4 carry strat. Perhaps winning out, given that they have the 4 four out of 5 of the highest last hits run Dyer, and Dyer's top last hits are now even with uh, Radiant. So, uh, looking poor. Uh, less than the gold rattle. No, let's get this on the free. This is the gold graph for a little bit. Um, indeed, there is a, 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 a 4k lead for the Dyer. As we see Sniper going kind of wrecked. Something's happening to Miran as well, I don't really know what. Um, she's very low, I think she just survived a pretty ulti. Orpheus getting chased by illusions. Meanwhile, Nick goes up to these sounds. I mean, is he going to turn around and kill Science? Or probably not. Sniper TV back to base. Will he survive? No, he will not. Science gets the kill. Six stolen now. I'm not sure if he's in range for that one. Nick now walking up towards the enemy radiant shrine. He's in no man's land. Has no TP. What's going to happen? Who knows? Meanwhile, the disruptor here guarding. If Nick was to go up the hill, he would kill the disruptor. Although the disruptor might glimpse. That was a hilarious juke there. I'm not sure if you saw that. He walked down the hill. Um, Nick wouldn't kill anyway because he, he's a master juke himself. So was aware of what the disruptor was doing and realized how the vision would work out. Of course, the disruptor had just walked back to his base. He would be fine. Nick here moving now through the radiant jungle. He's bought a player of the team's base. He doesn't give a fuck. Purple moving around. Uh, she will not catch him, uh, although she is quite fast. 380, 335, she doesn't know where he is. Nick escapes the level on the day and will most likely push bot tower, get bot tower. Minus is up, he is not minus anything in a while. This is poor, but you know, he's doing okay, he's doing okay. Kind of funny how Nick is uh, bottom of the uh, last hits chart, especially bottom behind Magnus, given that Nick was the safe and carry and Magnus was the off laner. As I say that, they now draw even, and I assume Nick will pull ahead shortly. Crystal Main trying to be sneaky. Will she catch Lich out? Who knows? Who cares? Uh, Mariah not going for the arrow here. Mariah, of course, having quite random items. I think she's going for an orchid. Interesting. The arrow comes through. Oh, no, it doesn't. JK. Uh, this shitty Crystal Maiden has. M what the f fuck, my life? Crystal Maiden maxed Arcane, so she has loads of mana, but she has no skills to use. So it's kind of disastrous. Level 1 Frostbite, as there, I miss. Uh, the, the Mean Lord killing, sorry, Deputy Mean Lord killing off a uh, Disruptor, who no one cares about. Another uh, Shadows meme used. Zersman feeds to a uh, Luna, didn't catch that, but sort of expected, I guess. Um, this will come back soon, as will Phantom Arts, I imagine. Dai will be looking to push the top tier one, uh, which is still looking very healthy. Mana ulti is down. I suppose he's an arrows coming out, just as sort of a defensive measure. Uh, Science ulti is on cooldown as well. Crystal main ulti is up, but I think the science ulti and Rana are the main ones. So, uh, yeah, Dyer can safely push off tower, it seems. Arrow comes through, stunning rough dog. Uh, Peak does have um, boots, sorry, phase boots, but no blink yet. Silencer is hasted, coming around the back side. He does quite a bit of damage, but I kind of feed if he goes in. Um, okay, no, JK, Mangus is feeding. The sick Lich ulti comes out, however, amazing disruptor. Um, Whatever storm meme will kill uh, off someone. Mitch ulti bounces around and kills disruptor, as expected. Luna has used her ultimate. Uh, Sniper, though, is uh, fragile as shit and will not survive this. Meanwhile, Nick, shitting on bot lane. Uh, TP used recently, I presume he TP'd out of the fight, which I didn't really see. Um, kind of unfortunate, but um, you know, all we can expect from someone of his calibre, um, that is to say, expert calibre, and realising that the fight is lost before it's even happened. Uh, yellow TP box and ward up. Doesn't have any items going. Going for that uh, energy booster. He's got the Quelling Blade. This is not, as you might guess, to kill wards. Um, that's what you would think. But actually, no, he's going to carry Disruptor. He's going to buy Dagon, perhaps um, a couple of Divines later on, and see where that takes him. Uh, it's quite misleading to put Divines in your support, because no one thinks they have a Divine. So when they hit you a couple of times, you just, you just die, because you don't know what's going on. Here, Earth's taking the damage from mid. Uh, he seems to be healthy though. I reckon if Lich were to uh, ice armor him, Ursa uh, so could smoke into Rosh. He's looking at the shrine greedily. Will anyone uh, attend him? No, he walks past the shrine, he's going to life lost some creeps. Meanwhile, mid arrow misses. Silencer walks out unharmed. He's got a Dragon Lance. That gives him some attack range and not much else. Um, good for him. Meanwhile, Nick is pushing bots. The stall with his ever. Um, obsessed with the split push, obsessed with the rats. 
Nick, take a bit of damage from Luna. If he's beat, he'll be very, very embarrassing indeed. Uh, that was incredibly embarrassing indeed. Luna, of course, just hitting the correct one. Magnus goes in, sick RP on three. Runner managed to leap out. Um, so meanwhile, going question marks from, from the crippled boy here as the crippler destroys Nick Fox. Miranda walking away. I think Nick was hoping that she thought he'd be she'd be targeting the wrong one because if she was targeting the right one, obviously a good player would just leave. Nick second guessed that and double blushed there, thinking, well, she'll think she's having an illusion and she'll leave because I'm not leaving. But she kept hitting and Nick died and it was very embarrassing. But however mid his teammates were able to avenge him, Joe coming through with the follow up to Magnus' sick RP, um, it's all looking good. Uh, Thompson Tank Engine. Uh, pings out the uh, in this room box. Perhaps Earth could use that to Rosh. Perhaps not. Um, whose ward is this? Oh, it's Radiant, I think. Um, it's all in what you Ursa going for Shadow Blade himself. So he will be uh, yeah, invisible. And shit. Zazman walking around. Still has not used his hand of minus yet. He breaks the trees just to use that. Oh, uh, well done. Picks up the bounty room. Uh, I'm going to skip. We see Luna top of the last hits for the rest of the die, dominating those. We're we'll looking at the net worth quickly to give a more accurate representation. As we see Luna, yes, pretty much the same as the last hit, to be honest. Luna leading the rest of them, uh, sort of following. Um, so there's been going down to a uh, Crystal Main. Choose not to uh, top gang down. Okay. Crystal Main, of course, having a Glimmer Cape. Nick unable to deal with that effectively. I wonder if he can purge off Root. Who knows? Who knows? It'll be interesting to see. Uh, I'm going to stop commentating at 20 minutes because my food's cold. Uh, sorry. sorry. Uh, Magnus has Blink, has not gone for his Orchids. What is this? We don't know. Um, of course, did not see the Sciencer there. Um, on call round, Sciencer pops out in this, doesn't really achieve anything. Um, Luna has her ulti up, I imagine. Sciencer dropping a bit of harass on her, between the Helm and Dominator, Dragon Lance, Treads, etc. She's quite tanky. Nick pushing top as always, avoiding the fight. Three seconds with TP to be up. He can TP mid if he likes to defend this. I don't know if he likes idea. He's going there. I suspect the Swatch keeps a glimpse in. Yes. That was a terrible science royalty. I think you should let him glimpse and then forward. Um, now Pete will probably just kill the drop there before he has a chance to go disrupt the Oh my god. Magnus skews in. Blinks. RP does something else. Joe wrecking face. They're in biz. They have no uh, detection because they've only got one support. But that was an impressive fight. Um, Glad to see Nick being sent back top, so he was not able to feed effectively. Um, obviously, it's kind of like a 6v5, 6v4 Nick from the game. Um, you know, Slime Tank is stunned. Joe looking for more. Shadow Raid up. Um, will be able to catch Murano or anyone who's hasted. That was kind of fucking retarded to clap there. Um, but yeah, basically, Dire running riot. Um, I'm going to leave this now. It looks like Dire in a win. If they lose, it's embarrassing. Dire. Eat some food. Um, yeah. Cut my eye. Meme?